Hey Deckers, how's it going? This is Solar Gray, your cinematic sorcerer, coming back at you with Benjamin J. Akendoff from Comic Book Sun. Huh? J. Akendoff? I like it. <laughs> yes, J. Akendoff, because there are going to... J. Akendoff. And- That's right. So, I'm going to say that we are here having the privilege to talk to Ben about one of his new books called Masters of the Sun. It has nothing to do with He-Man, but it's got a whole lot to do with Awesome. So, tell us a little bit about the book. So the book is a hip hop um, story, I guess you could say, set in the 1980s. Um, follows Zulu X and his crew, the Blastmasters. Uh, we get into Egyptology. We get into drugs. We get into zombies. We get into all sorts of crazy stuff, and uh, we get into hip hop. So you know, it's all good. Awesome, like a hip hop historical science fiction um, adventure. <laughs> Awesome. So we. So wait. Are you saying that you've made a new comic book featuring black characters that accentuate the intricacies of black culture and hip hop from its origins in the late seventies and early eighties? That is what this is. That yeah, we got the blessings of KRS One too, which is why he's uh, Zulu X and the Blastmasters. Fantastic, KRS One. Now I've had the privilege of looking over a few pages since the book has premiered today, and I gotta say this stuff looks amazing, amazing stuff featuring featuring a lot of stuff from the hip hop idols like Africa Bombada, KRS One. Definitely model a lot of hybridizations of the '80s vibes throughout all the character designs. So, you know, we definitely tried to cover a lot of bases. Um, and I think, you know, with book two, we're going to get even deeper into that. So and it'll be the 90s in book two. So DOS effects, Pete Rock is CL Smooth, all the, all the good love. So. so we're talking a good, good intro to like lessons in hip hop history and its influence on American culture. Absolutely. I mean, you know, I think the thing with this book is, is that, you know, we started off, you know, with this master son character who is kind of Sun Ra-ish. Um, so we got that jazz space is the place vibe. Um, basically, you know, talking about how, you know, the hip hop culture has given a voice, you know, to, you know, uh, people that don't otherwise have a voice. And I think that's really what, you know, this is about is about community and about society and people coming together and, you know, having, having a connection. And I think a lot of the problem, especially now and, you know, in hip hop is kind of the lack of connection to the past. And I think that's a really important thing, you know, connecting back to the community. (laughs) <laughs> Masters of the Sun, it's dope. There's going to be a lot more fun stuff unraveling. Um, you know, Black Eyed Peas, obviously, this is their uh, relaunch. So I was really, uh, really blessed to be a part of this project with the Black Eyed Peas. And Will I Am was the one who brought me on this, this whole adventure. And uh, we're off to do book two. And there's a lot more stuff coming out. And keep an eye out for New York Comic Con and uh, L.A. Comic Con and all that jazz. So. Awesome, awesome, blossom. So once again, you guys out there, the book is called The Masters of the the sun you can find it at your local brick and mortar comic book outlet amazon or wherever else you can find um graphic novels just not on ebay because people got to stay open if you guys want links to where to get the book or to check out some other stuff we're going to leave links down there in the doobly-doo and you guys have the book if you have the book and you've got questions comments compliments or all of those other things you can find mr J all the way down there at new york comic-con um And I'll be at L.A. Comic Con, obviously, uh, you know, and here in Los Angeles. I mean, we do these Comic Book Sunday jams. And uh, obviously this Comic Book Sunday right here has been focused on the Masters of the Sun event. And uh, we're going to do more of these. This is uh, music and comics and video games. It's And comics. Yeah, and and comics. So, you know, let's keep the spirit alive. Awesome, awesome. Well, I want to thank you for being out here with me and actually inviting me out here. Because let's face it, it's not like I jumped a fence. And um, um, we're going to wrap this up here because it's just after golden hour. And remember, you guys, if there's anybody out there that tells you that you can't do the things that you want to do or like the things that you want to like because of the circumstances of your birth, be it person of color, female, LGBT, um, little person, tall person, giant, even if you're made from a reptile, you tell them to take that card and put it back in the deck. This is Solar Gray, your cinematic sorcerer, signing out.